fun to break down this article real quick. Um, new, archaeologi- uh, new archaeological evidence shows ancient humans ate each other, sometimes for compassionate reasons. This gives uh, this finds gives us the opportunity to reassess our views on the practice. Well, unfortunately, ancient humans were also known for cracking open skulls and attempting brain surgeries with rocks. Maybe we need to redefine this idea that bashing someone's skull open with a rock is not violent murder, but actually just an attempt to perform a highly uh, unusual medical procedure. But uh, right off the bat, let's go one reason why cannibalism is not a good idea. Um, So the difference between eating a pig and eating a human is quite simple. Any diseases that a pig may have has a next to 0% chance of passing on to a human. That's just the way it is. Even a underprepared piece of pig meat while bad, is nothing compared to the damage that a human, human to me. Imagine, for example, there were these group of people, I don't remember where precisely, but they would eat the brains of their dead. And unfortunately, that resulted in them getting a fucking horrible brain diseases. Because unfortunately, human diseases have this nasty old habit of being able to infect humans, but let, let, uh, let's let see their reasons. It is the ultimate taboo in most societies. The idea of one human eating another is morally repugnant. Well, because normally you have to kill the person to get their meat, even in circumstances where it could be justified. If you are on a life or death survival situation and you have no choice but to eat someone else, well, it's you or them. That is... That is unfortunate, but you got to do what you got to do to survive. Ethically, cannibal- ethically, cannibalism poses fewer issues than you might imagine. If someone can bequeath their body with, medical- with consent to medical science, why can't it be used to feed the hungry? Well, um, a larger portion of religions um, say no to that. It would also probably, unfortunately, increase dramatically the amount of people that are supposedly g- had given their consent to this, but in all likelihood were violently murdered to feed the desires of whatever market uh, does that. And there's already a market for human flesh, and I'd prefer to not see it increased, as I am quite happy being among the living, y- you might not be aware of, but if you can somehow get the consent of someone else to eat their corpse, um, well, first, you know, obviously we do the normal. We, uh, before the person's dead, of course, when they make this agreement, uh, make sure they're not on drugs. Uh, try to avoid if they're, see if they're being threatened in some way or some other manner. Uh, but, uh, whatever. Bodies are often seen as the seat of the soul and have a whiff of the sacred. Maybe it is culturally ingrained with roots in early modern colonialism when racist stereotypes of cannibal were con- concocted to justify subjugation. Um, so, here's, we'll just point this out. Um, most cultures, especially ones we would consider advanced, so Europe, the Middle East, and China, were all like, cannibalism? That's a no-go. Even, I shouldn't say even, many of the Native Americans were also like, no, no to cannibalism. Cannibalism is bad. Because it is, I don't want to say, no, nah, it is just wrong to eat another human. Notice most creatures do not eat their, most mammals do not eat their own unless absolutely necessary. It's just not something you do. And that doesn't even account for the psych- psycho. There is psychological damage to just eating flesh, human flesh. Especially if you know it as well. Like, it just causes problems because humans were not meant to eat other humans. It is just not how we were wired. And other Western societies, except for, like, every society had it against uh, culturalism. I mean, cannibalism. Now, further complicating how we think about human cannibalism, there's evidence suggesting our human ate our ancestors surprisingly often. 
Well, those people also had the fun habit of violently raiding each other and raping and murdering. Are we going to be bringing that back in fashion? Because if so, we're going to do it on a much larger scale and we're going to have a lot more fun with it. But uh, for sustenance or to compete against and intimidate rivals, but often done for, as funer funerary. I can't speak English and I apologize for that, but... Rituals to honor the dead. Well, you know another better way to honor the dead? You light them on fire and you have a feast for them. I believe that's a far healthier and far better way to go about it than honoring the dead. Like it or not, cannibalism is an important part of our history. You're goddamn right. You know what's also part of our history? The slaves. Slave trading. I, you know what? As a, as a man who considers himself the, the son of Rome, I want me some French slaves. Or garlic if you want to be so generous i want my slaves god damn it you know what matter of fact i want to do large-scale genocide that's part of our history why don't we do that too violent and uh incredibly violent uh torture in, in public let's bring that back let's bring back the wheel while we're at it let's break everyone's criminals bones and blatant public in front of children you know what? while while we're at it Let's bring back monarchies. If it's part of our history, surely we should be bringing it back. Uh, but you know what? I agree. Let's bring back all the old stuff. You know? Let's just do it. Why not? You know? It's part of our history and culture. 